Hello YouTube, Freddy Cardona here. In this Pride and Patterson video, I'm gonna show you the brownstone. This is a place that many Pattersonians will remember for weddings, proms, parties, and as many of you may know, this was featured on the Jersey Housewives, Jersey Housewives. So let's walk the grounds. So I can show you this location. We actually visited here during one of my live streams. I believe it was the second live stream, if I'm not mistaken. And we were here briefly. I showed you a few things in that particular video, but we're walking the, the front. This is where if someone would get a ride or a, a service car to come drop them off they get dropped off right here and then they go inside and have themselves a party so let me just show you the inside here real quick you can't really see a lot of glare let me show you the uh, workmanship here the brownstone so we're going to walk around the grounds a little bit and just show you some of the details of this amazing building. There's a good old red, white, and blue. For any of you wondering, if you're not from Patterson, this here is West Broadway. The corner of West Broadway and Burhans Avenue. Let me just pan around, show you the area. Let me show you the sign. It's a little bit windy today. Say hi, Freddy. And there's the sign that many of you would see when you're on West Broadway, the Brownstone. Let's go back up this way. I'm trying to remember what events I may have participated in here. I think we were here for an anniversary of, I don't remember if it was our church. But we're coming around so I can show you the other side. Let's see if I could bring you in a little closer. A little closer. Let's see, let's see. I can see myself getting arrested for stalking the building as we try to get some good pictures for you guys. These are some of the details that as you're driving by, you won't see. Unless you're subscribed to my Pride in Patterson playlist. Let's see if uh, we can come across here. This is the adjacent neighborhood. That would be something if you lived around here. If you're invited to a party at the Brownstone, you don't really have to go far. You can stay home, park. And that's a panoramic shot of the back of the brownstone. Let's bring it back to the front. 
Yeah, well, I want to thank all of my subscribers for your viewership, your loyalty and viewing my videos. I think at the current time, I believe we have 1,340 subscribers. And I want to encourage you guys to share these videos with other ex-Pattersonians and even current Pattersonians. I know there's a lot of groups that want to go over the history of Patterson. But I also want to I also want current Pattersonians in the community because as Patterson grows and we get more businesses in Patterson, the only way we can improve is to get more current Pattersonians involved. And if we can get a lot more current Pattersonians into the community, we can always share ideas, what we can do to make Patterson better, and share memories with ex-Pattersonians. And we can all share a great time of memories. I want to encourage you also to look up the Pride in Patterson Facebook group page and apply to join to that. And the only requirement to joining the Patterson group page is that you like Patterson and that you're proud of Patterson. Now that could be that you've worked here in Patterson, even though you don't live here. Maybe you've never lived in Patterson but you've worked in Patterson a long time. You know a lot of people from Patterson. And the only requirement of being in that group is that you're not rude. You don't act like a child. You don't insult. We don't talk race. We don't talk politics. We don't talk religion. A lot of those discussions will inevitably turn negative with people insulting the heck out of each other as we all know how the internet is so on on that group page we don't tolerate that we give you guys or not you guys but we'll give the offenders the bbos award the black button of shame i'm not proud of giving out the award but i feel it's necessary to keep away the childish behavior we we prefer to discuss things with maturity, with class, with decorum, like adults. We're not in grammar school, we're not in middle school, we're not in high school. We are adults who work for a living, support our families, as we look at the brownstone. Guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. I will ask that you like and subscribe especially if you like the content liking and subscribing the video subscribing to the channel really helps build the channel and more importantly it helps build the patterson community we need to get the word out that patterson is not this unlivable crazy war zone that a lot of non-pattersonians will have you believe i don't think you see a war zone here but anyway here we are guys thank you again and we'll see you on the next Patterson video.